If you want to hear my latest update for the Pan That Palette for 2021, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elaine, and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup or Hmm Makeup. I am so happy to have you here today because there's a change. There's a change to the Pan That Palette. You may have seen a video earlier, um, I was going to say earlier in the month, and I think that's true, earlier in the month. There's an event that caused me to have to change my plans for Pen That Palette, and I think I will just um, insert the video or at least give you a link to uh, the information. I'm pretty sure I kept the footage and I can show you here. And then I used uh, my Pan That Palette. For those of you following my Pan That Palette, I just dropped it. And I lost most of the shadows. It's all over the floor. I'm not going to try to save it. It looks like I have three, four, five, six shadows left. The rest is on the floor. So, yeah. I don't know how to feel about this. Actually, I feel awful about this. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to park it, I'm going to sweep the floor and wash it a little bit, and we'll continue on with this video. Needless to say that there's been a change to uh, my pen that palette. So if you have not seen what it is that I'm trying to tell you about, I'm going to show you the result of it. I lost the majority of the repressed shadows in my pen that palette in the last number of weeks. It was very painful, and so I am not going to repress more shadows into this palette because it's all the repressed shadows except for two. These two up here, which are highlighters from Buxom, all of the other ones completely shattered, and I have a little bit of that taupey brown left in these two. I'm not going to touch them, not, I'm not going to do anything. But basically, I have these three pans here, and these, well, these three pans here, plus, I guess, a half a pan-ish here. Those are the pans that I'm going to focus on for the remainder of the year in this palette. I'm not going to be adding anything into this palette. I'm not going to be removing anything from this palette except for usage. But I do need to be panning something a little bit more because this is not a huge number of shadows and a whole lot of interest, plus two of the pans are very, very, very similar. So I am looking to complement this palette with another palette, which is what I had done with the Buxom Suede Seduction, which was the other one that got the most votes, and it got the most votes because it was very complementary colors to this palette. Folks, you're voting. You did such a great job. I'm going to throw it to you again. So I am going to add a companion palette. I'm not going to put that palette in here, like I said, but I do want another palette that I'm panning so that I can spread around to a few more colors and still have a panning objective when it comes to a full palette. So I'm going to put the pictures, uh, the palettes closed and the palettes open here on the screen. They are the exact same palettes. The only one that you're going to see is in the right hand side, you're going to see the Buxom palette that is obviously no longer an option because all the shadows, virtually all the shadows from that palette are uh, broken and gone. The highlighter and the taupey shade are the only two that survived. I want another palette to go with this Smashbox matte exposure that I'm trying to finish. 
and I want to ensure that you have your say. You can do it one of two ways. You can let me know in the uh, comments which one of those palettes you would like for me to use. You can also go to the community tab where they are all listed along with those two pictures so that you can, uh, dis well actually one picture, the open, the open picture I think, on the community tab and let me know which one of those um, palettes that you would like. You can vote for one, in which case that palette gets three points, or you can give me your order of preference from um, of three palettes in the order of preference, so your first choice, second choice, third choice, and I will compile that information later in the month. So that is where my head is at. So I am going to leave it open until the end of the month, uh, 12 midnight stand Central Standard Time in North America. That is going to be the last chance to vote. And on July 1st, which is Canada Day, I will be announcing what will be my companion palette to this Smashbox Matte Exposure to take me to the end of this year and likely into 2020, yikes, 2022. Gosh, it's, it feels so weird to say that. I'm not ready to even think about the end of 2021. Wow, this is the first time I've thought of 2022. Crazy. So that is it. I uh, am not going to offer, obviously, much of an update on this pen that palette because the big update is the lousy outcome of my usage this month. Uh, I ended up having very dry hands and the palette just just leapt out of my hands had no control over it and um, it smashed on the floor and I really couldn't salvage virtually any of it because I'm not going to put something on my eyes that was on the floor call me crazy <laughs> but anyway I do look forward to your input I appreciate it every single time it helps me make decisions and it also helps you have a say in what happens on this channel which I appreciate and so with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. Thank you in advance for your help. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video where I will introduce the new companion palette. For now, thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. For now, take care.